only recently did I realize, did I learn that every Major League Baseball team has an academy in the Dominican Republic where they uh, sign players, house them, feed them, train them, uh, all, all with the intention of eventually finding good ones to bring over to the United States and become, you know, big stars. And um, so I, I thought, wow, if, if I didn't know about this, there must be a lot of other fans that don't know about this. And, and we just wanted to explore the story, uh, the life of um, the journey of, of one of these guys who you never hear about, one of the guys that don't become the big baseball star. I don't have it, you know, worked out as a science yet, but uh, things kind of have come pretty organically. We've been working together for a while, from working on short films to documentaries to our first feature, and um, we don't have a lot of separation in terms of, um, you know, he's, he's behind the camera and I'm working with the actors. We let things flow pretty organically and it's, uh, it's worked out okay. We haven't had too many blow-ups. <laughs> we did do some of our really important, wonderful casting out of New York, Rainy Al Rufino, who plays Jorge in the movie, um, that the lead character was not going to come from New York as we started looking at more and more tapes that like that, that there was something special about who we were interviewing and who we were talking to in the Dominican Republic and, and that role was going to end up being cast out of there so that's why you know the two of us were spending a lot of time in a car driving around looking for baseball fields. Once we cast the right person you're making sure that they had that a natural low-key presence you know we're not very much into like big big showy acting um, so once we knew that somebody could just sort of feel natural then it, it was just about explaining you know not to not to overdo it not to pretend to be somebody or not we'd try to cast people who were pretty similar to the, the parts they were playing throughout the movie I think that he's like he's Part of his journey is trying to find the words for what he's experiencing and what he's going through. And, um, you know, it was important to us not to put words in his mouth that he wouldn't be able to, you know, develop on his own. And I think slowly throughout the film, hopefully, his motivations and um, what he's going through become a little bit more clear as it becomes more clear to himself. Our DP, Andre, he's fantastic. We, um, he's a good friend, you know, so it's just really fun to, like, get up early in the morning and just be on set with somebody who you consider a close friend and it sort of becomes like a, <clears throat> a family at some point and we have disagreements and little fights and, and stuff, but it's, it's always fun and, um, He's just great with actors, you know, he's, he's directed films himself, uh, shorts, and uh, I think he's just really sensitive to the actor's process, and he gets, he gets it. He's not, he doesn't get too caught up on every little technical detail. Um, it's, he knows that it's really about uh, what's unfolding in front of the camera with, with the actors. We didn't want to use like an airplane fighter jet sound as soon as the ball was released to indicate how fast it was going.